Hello YouTube, this is ST with ST Silver Stacking with you once again. In this video, I am going to demonstrate monetary debasement by using a real world example. And the real world example I'm going to use is bread. I am going to show what happened to the purchasing power of our money when we moved in coinage from silver-based money to non-intrinsic money, which is basically fiat money. Now, in 1960, I picked that because it was a nice round number what you could buy a loaf of bread for. You could buy a loaf of bread in 1960 for 20 cents. Two dimes, two silver dimes would get you a loaf of bread in 1960. 2017 two new dimes with no intrinsic value in the metals will get you two slices of bread. Okay, probably going ST, inflation, that's nothing new to me. This way of thinking about it may be new to you. Monetary debasement is when the issuing government removes metals of intrinsic value from its coinage in order to produce more coinage. That's what happened in the United States at the end of 1964 for most of our coin money. But is the two, two pieces for two new dimes versus the loaf of bread for two dimes in 1960 an inflation because of the price of the good? Or did the price go up due to a deficiency in the money? I will submit to you it's the latter, and I'm going to prove it. Okay. If you take two dimes that are pre-1964, let's use a conservative number. These could be converted for $1.25 a piece in today's market. And that's being overly conservative. As a matter of fact, I would love to find some dimes right now for a buck and a quarter a piece pre-1964. That's going to give us $2.50 conservatively. That's enough to buy the loaf of bread. and four more pieces. So the same two dimes in 1960 that bought one loaf of bread now buys a loaf of bread plus four more pieces. Now today with our new money, our new dimes, we could buy two. Two pieces. This is the purchasing power our money has lost due to moving off metals of intrinsic value. So, getting back to my original point, did the price go up because of normal inflation? Or did the price go up because we, as United States citizens, allowed our government to monkey with our money and devalue it? I submit to you the proof is here. It's the lighter, not, not the former. Now, I use this example because I used to teach economics on the college level. And when you start talking about present value, future value, compound effects of interest, students' eyes started to glaze over. Heck, I'm an accountant, and sometimes I get lost up in the math and can't relate. 
So I was driving the other day and thought this would be a great example to relate what the debasement has in our monetary system has done to our purchasing power with our money. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got a friend that has had some problems understanding or does not understand uh, monetary debasement, share this video with them. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Hopefully I'll get continue some videos coming and we'll do some economic videos and how it relates to silver from time to time and we'll do some market analysis from time to time. This is ST with ST Silver Stacking. God bless you.